Act 6, a plot to kill, foiled by police. We do believe we potentially, uh, we were minutes away from a potentially deadly situation. Tonight, a Miami Beach man under arrest, accused of trying to blow up the condo high rise he lived in. And tonight there is new and extremely disturbing video of what was in a storage room linked to the suspect. You are looking at it right behind us in that monitor. And with that, the charges against him have been upped from attempted arson to attempted murder. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at TGK with the very latest. Peter. Well, Rick and Ruta Bay, as you mentioned, that 72-year-old suspect is in fact charged with attempted murder. Miami Beach police tell us they averted a disaster. They say they stopped a man who had a grudge against condominium residents, the board of directors, and Jewish people because he was being evicted. Miami Beach police had been alerted about Walter Stolper from a witness who gave a stunning statement that Stolper was going to burn down the building with all of the expletive deleted Jews, his condo building at 5601 Collins Avenue. We do believe we potentially, uh, we were minutes away from a potentially deadly situation. Police say they intercepted Stolper as he was going into his building with two tanks of gasoline. Already in the building, he had disposed of eight additional gasoline uh, canisters down the trash chute from the 15th floor. Now in a new development, Miami Beach police saying this storage room at the condo was also linked to Stolper. It shows 28 additional containers with gasoline, sulfur powder, and potassium nitrate. Police credit Stolper's friend, Luis Diaz, for turning in Stolper after he spoke with him on the phone. He was telling me that, you know, he was tired of the association in his building and these Jews in the building and he was going to do something about it. I thought he was venting, but then he got a little serious when he told me he started ordering uh, canisters for fuel and that he was going to burn the building and lock the fire department from getting to the uh, pressure hoses and stuff like that. Ray Proctor says one of his security officers also took action as residents complained of a strong odor of gas in the hallways and elevator. I feel that uh, he was, uh, it was a heroic action he was doing. Police had also received a tip that Stolper was making derogatory comments about Jewish people because he was being evicted. Inside of the unit, we found Nazi reading material as well as a swastika. Uh, this, again, very, very, very dangerous individual. Our detectives were also, also seized two firearms. Now, Stolper is also being held here at the TGK Correctional Center in $7,500 bond. Prosecutors have not said if they will pursue hate crime charges in this case. The FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force is also looking into the case to see if they will file federal charges as well. We're live in West Miami-Dade, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.